What's going on toxic gamers today? We got another disaster to talk about every day is a new disaster in gaming man What the hell what the hell is going on in the video games industry? This is what they've done to Lara Croft as well. We got the homie Asmin go looking like this right now I got a clip that I want to share with you guys like the video if you think there are two genders Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders guys listen man. I'm not a savage I gotta give everybody equal chances salute to captain BBC <laughs> We got a salute to Captain BBC as well, and man, I want to play you this clip. Shout out to the homie Asmund Gold, and I want to then sh uh, show you guys what happened with Sweet Baby Inc. as well. Roll this. What is this? Uh, where are they? Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, let me see. So, Tomb Raider, how is the reception for this been? It got a 5 out of 10 from IGN, so even IGN didn't like this. 5 out of 10 from IGN means zero. Zero, literally zero. Uh, That's how about what it Metacritic? Means. Oh. 3.6. Oh. This is absolutely <laughs> terrible. I don't know why they need to constantly butcher classics. This is the Bro. worst, most boring TV show I've ever watched. Laura is always crying or needs a hug. What happened to Damn. strong, badass Laura Croft? Don't want- These suckers hate females, bro. These suckers hate- Yeah, this is how Lara Croft was back in the, the Tomb Raiders, you know? You feel what I'm saying? And this is what they've done. This- Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? I'm trying to- This is what they've done to her? <laughs> Bruh! They gave her the Abby, the Brock Lesnar treatment, though. Abby from The Last of Us 2. That's what they did, Watch man. this show. Oh, it's a waste of time. Laura is now a lesbian. That story, tell me more. <laughs> there isn't more. She left me and never looked back. It's complicated. I didn't leave because of you. Bruh. I didn't want you to leave. Why did you want to leave? You never even said goodbye. You wanted me to leave. So you didn't leave because you thought I was replacing you. If you only like these sickers always do that, but not only Lara isn't safe from being retcon as guy for for Netflix. One in. Now that was a blast. A character we'll named Zip. Come on, man. <laughs> First yoga, then dance lesson. He, they always do that to my black homies, man. They always do to do that to my brothers. Like he, they made like a perfectly normal black character, a strong man, right? Like, look at that. Damn, look at the physique, though. A character named Zip, right? Yeah, look at that. Like, you know, classic. This is a classic, and uh, he looked good. He looked good. Come on, man. <laughs> First show. <laughs> and this is what... Man, why do y'all suckers want to do that to, like, the... The good, good franchises. Why you wanna? Why y'all suck is changing, bro? Then dance lessons. Your woman is out of control. Is this, is this real? Is that from Tomb bro, Raider games? Like, who was explicitly stated to be again, bro? They always do that to black people, man. I've been saying this for a minute, bro. They always do that. I, another example, bro. Another. I did not know that was real. I just heard about like they did this to Lara Croft, and I was like, bruh, like these suckers like, hit females. These suckers like, hit women. And now it's it's absolutely apparent it's <laughs> bruh like they, these things also don't like black people bro these things are hella racist with that crap man be a ladies man has been turned into a flamboyant gay man in Netflix's Tomb Raider series they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't Lara is constantly Christ. crying through the, throughout the show Lara it's okay to be sad isn't Laura Croft known for being a badass, not a crybaby? Uh, goodbye, cartoon breasts. Hello, sweat stains. <laughs> the feminist reinvention of Tomb Raider. Finally, Laura Croft no longer looks like a strong wind would knock her over. Netflix's man. new animated series reimagined. Goodbye, cartoon breasts. Oh, man. <laughs> Hello, sweet stains. The feminist reinvention of Tomb Raider. Is the adventurer with no thought on the male gaze. Yeah, for what a surprise. Leave it to a woman to body shame other women. A strong That's gust crazy. of wind would knock her over. Would you rather be... It's the females that hate on other females, man. Because dudes, bro, we, we appreciate, brothers. We we appreciate. We see, we see like, uh, like a good character. We appreciate, man. Sometimes we appreciate it a little bit too much, man. Like, damn, man. The, and I know some of you say that even this design was kind of nerfed and whatnot. But I would say this design way better than than this would you rather this one in the comments one in the comments if you would this character design two if you would this i, I want to know man i want to know where you guys are but wait for it you know like a scarecrow that can be knocked over and like the wind or would you rather be a boulder why don't we make all of them look like boulders and that way none of them will ever get blown over by the wind it's always really weird to me whenever i see a show that like actively changes core elements and yeah. then they're surprised and people are like wow no 
There are far better animated video game adaptions than Tomb Raider, the legend of Lara Croft. There is no legend, man. There is no legend. It's the legend of Lorenzo Croft or Larry. Larry Croft. I think it's Lorenzo. I'm going to stick with Lorenzo. But shout out to the homie Smash JT. I want to play you this clip. I swear to God, this thing is crazy. Roll In it. moments when this movement couldn't dig up like another reason to attack us, they would just kind of move on to other groups who they perceive to be like us all while you know doing the work of erasing all of those peoples and our actual jobs and interest and papering over it with kind of you know that rallying cry of far-right supremacy DEI. Yeah. A funny thing happened. There we go. Okay, uh, for for context, this is Kim Belair from Sweet Baby Inc. if I'm not mistaken. This is Kim, right? Kim trying to be strong, trying to be independent. But when I was editing my video talking about how Sweet Baby Inc's website was completely dismantled and removed a whole bunch of very vital information that allowed us to use them as a resource to find out what games they worked on so we knew what we could avoid, they took away all the game companies, all the client mm. lists, all the games they used to work on, and it's just a straight up bare bones website right now. And I was editing that video and I was like, oh, I need some B-roll footage because I talk about Kim Belair here. Let me look her up. Yeah, you know Kim, what I typically do when I'm making a video? I like to emphasize and drive home the point. So I look up the information and sure enough, wouldn't you know it, they posted a video that same day of Kim Belair talking at the XOXO Fest about the hate campaign that gamers have gone on against Sweet Baby Inc. What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. And this video that I stumbled upon last night accidentally exposes exactly what the thinking is behind the scenes at Sweet Baby Inc. How they refuse to take any accountability whatsoever for their actions and how they off put and place the blame on the gaming community in general yeah. to enable sweet baby Inc. To yeah toxic gamers toxic gamer what happens when you get harassed toxic gamers play the perpetual victim going so far as to up to and including hating on elon musk and calling him what? a buffoon because apparently Bruh. it's totally fine Bruh. for kim belair and sweet baby Inc. to call other people names but god forbid anyone hold sweet baby Inc. accountable for the awful things that they do <laughs> Hit that subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full article breaking down how Kim Belair took the stage at the XOXO Fest 2024, discussing the hate campaign against Sweet Baby Inc. and just how awful gamers are in general and yeah. why Sweet Baby Yeah, gamers are menace to society. Gamers don't deserve to live. That that yeah, that's what they they be saying, right? Like gamers don't deserve to live. Gamers are toxic. They just send us heaven proposals, man. This is absolutely crazy. It's ludicrous and they openly say they don't like gamers and they want to destroy video games and still gaming publishers hire them. Some of them are now like choosing not to hire them and you know a shift is happening because they're realizing that they're there to destroy their projects and their passion and uh, their work, right? They, these you guys gotta understand that gaming these publishers these devs have been working on projects games for months years right and then they're like okay let's get sweet baby ink and then uh you know ultimately they ruin all their goodwill with the fans that they built over the years over the decades right they they ruin that they ruin their project and they all and and, and more often than not we see massive layoffs and in some cases Studios get shut down. Prime example, that Saints Wolf, that Saints Row Studio, right? Studio gets shut down, man. Why? Because of Sweet Baby Inc. <laughs> These things have been destroying everything right now. Baby Inc is just so misunderstood. And if people would just let them do their thing, there wouldn't be any problems. They could take them. Bro, if we let them do everything, if like they keep on doing things, bro, there are gonna be so many job losses, so many job cuts, so many studios would shut down, bro. Yes, man, like those, so many people would be out of jobs, bro. Like, nah, bro from these game companies completely ruin the franchises and everyone's happy what happens when you get harassed is also that you realize all you have is each other and you can maybe call it trauma bonding but when there are no prizes and no funds and no vacations and as compensation right and the only thing you have on your plate is suddenly your widely derided work you also start to make more space for each other you start to recognize that the work will sometimes feel thankless but that you still love it and you love it thankless okay so you should thank you guys for destroying studios we should thank you guys for uh, being the reason of why there's so many job losses right now. We, we heard this all the time. We heard this, right? Like, so and so company fired that many devs. Hundreds of devs fired. Thousands of devs fired. Because the game didn't do good. And why the game didn't do good is because these suckers hired your y'all suckers, okay? These suckers uh, hired y'all asses. Uh, and uh, you go in, you not only destroy the game, but you just completely annihilate bombard the studio and then ultimately we heard the studio shut down 
<laughs> what are we talking about, man? Y'all suckers are crazy, and you have the audacity to say thankless, thankless. Gamers are thankless. I mean, get mama with that, bro. Get mama with that, bro. It, fortunately or unfortunately, because you get to do it together as a team, and for us, Bruh. that means we're doing it as sweet baby eight. Kim Belair attempted to paint a rosy picture of her company and herself as the perpetual victims of an unjust hate campaign at the XOXO Fest 2024, but she conveniently left out any context whatsoever, important key details explaining why the gaming community, up to and including Elon Musk, have taken issue with SBI in mm. the first place. In my circles, I'm mm. largely considered, I think, a, a relatively nice person. These are my dogs, Sage and Flaky. These are my cats, Tag and the Gray Boy. Um, I really enjoy Lego. Uh, I, I collect skulls and taxidermy. And I also really like playing a lot of video games, uh, including Elden Ring. Notice how she takes the approach of, oh, I'm just this girl in the in the game industry. <laughs> I'm just I'm just totally misunderstood, you know? Yeah. I just want to I am just trying to be strong, independent. I'm like dad's little princess. I am not that guy, yeah, yeah. I'm not just trying to do any, I'm not trying to do any harm. Ends up shutting down how many studios? I lost count at this point, bro. Make the games great. We got these great people working with us, but these awful gamers are just trying yeah, to ruin our lives gamers, with this awful gamers. hate campaign. Yeah, it's toxic gamers. It made us realize that this was huge. We were being attacked in a massive and coordinated campaign of harassment, and that sucks. But it does get me closer to the question of what happens when you get harassed. Ah, hey, whoa, 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 whoa presents herself as a narrative expert, but after painfully watching this entire speech, it was clear that her true expertise lies in the lies. 1.5 out of 5. Poor, despair, sadness, doxing, threats of the wild, R richest man in the world does a curse on you. Okay, so they're talking about Elon Musk. Is this real? Is this real? Threats of having proposals, Wikipedia page, XO, XO talk, what's that? Uh, I guess the event that she's at, right? Become very good at Elden Ring. Bumbleclad Bumbleclad. Spinning a story where her company is always the wrong party and never ever acknowledging any wrongdoing or accountability ever. Yeah, Have you no guys noticed a trend here by the way with people on that side? How they refuse to accept any accountability. How they refuse to tell the full story. How they refuse to say, oh you know what? Could have been better here. That's why this is happening. No, there is zero acknowledgement zero of that. Accountability. It's always someone zero. else's fault. The perpetual victim syndrome. Yeah, zero accountability. How many studios you guys shut down, man? Or how many studios got shut down because of you guys? Nah, man, it's not our fault. It's that's that's how they're acting. Like they they're not even acknowledging the amount of job losses that had recently occurred because of them, bro. Like th th this is ludicrous, though. This is insane, man. This is mental, bro. It is happening right here, clear as day. Uh, that's that's me. I'm the CEO. I have issues. Um, but yeah, this this went on for weeks and then months. Uh, at its peak, which was somewhere around like February, March of this year, we were getting something like 300 emails a day, which admittedly some of those are going to be spam or bots or whatever it is, but they were often accompanied by death threats, uh, threats yeah. to our family. Um, we did have one bomb threat made uh, to the mm. police that they contacted us about, and at the you know, at best, the, the nicest thing you would see in, in some of these spaces was that we were a punchline. Uh, but any defenders were really, really shouted down quite quickly. And in moments when this movement couldn't dig up like another reason to attack us, they would just kind of move on to other groups who they perceived to be like us. The audience was being fed the idea that Sweet Baby Inc. is just this small, kind group of lovingly passionate developers that just have a passion for making games awesome. And they were being targeted by harassment by the awful gamers in the community. She made zero mention of why people are genuinely upset at them. It was honestly baffling how anyone could listen to this and not come away with questions. Is it SBI that's a problem? No, it must be the gamers because, gamers, because they're yeah. holding us accountable and, and that's not okay. That, that's not acceptable because we're just these nice people like Chris Kindred that tried to get Cabrutus cancelled, tried to get me fired from my job calling me a racist when he called in with his own phone number by the way which showed up there and I saw it because I looked it up and his phone number's on his own website. Or how we had people like Cameron Wilde, another Sweet Baby Inc. employee, who once gave a presentation within the past year talking about anti-white rhetoric, how white people are really the problem in all of this, and hating the game industry, wanting to burn it down. That Damn. Damn, brother. Discomfort, or the place where whiteness doesn't have to live, is where some of the best stories are told. And I'm not even gonna get into- Bruh. Yo, where, where my white homies at, though? Yo, uh, as a brown man, as a brown man, bro, like, damn, damn, uh, man, as a brown man, bro, I'm sick and tired of everybody playing the race card, bro. I'm sick and tired of everybody playing the race card. It, these seconds, okay, let's actually gather our thoughts real quick, okay? So these seconds don't like gamers. 
they don't like white men they to them brown people don't exist and they always use lgbt people as shields right and they also use black people as shields and you know they can never have a normal black person in the game ever just like how we just saw right and they don't like females either they don't like who do you guys like who do you guys like damn man i thought you guys were all about inclusivity and diversity but this is not diversity you're excluding everybody man you're excluding everybody like damn damn y'all suckers are sexist you don't like men you also don't like females either you're turning females into men right now and you're always like doing this to my black homies to my black brothers out here uh and in terms of like assassin's creed the bbc samurai situation right uh I, yeah these things are hella racist towards the asian people too you know what i mean right like damn who you guys like uh at, yeah like you guys are excluding everybody damn. maya felix kramer and the awful things that that person has been saying online for a very long time now that they've migrated over to blue sky which all these people always do because apparently it's elon musk's fault for buying twitter and giving people i don't know free speech and they can't handle it because it doesn't fit their narrative so in turn everyone else is a problem so we now need to run away as ridiculous mm. and stupid as it all was i actually was not prepared for the escalation of it when noted buffoon and uh, twitter ceo elon right. musk decided that there he would chime go. in with his very cool thoughts yeah very some very cool what did he say <laughs> pump the brakes elon musk decided that he would chime in with his very cool thoughts sweet baby inc is an evil blight on the gaming industry all they do is make games terrible and try to cancel people they cannot go broke soon enough where are the lies where, <laughs> where are the lies you w elon man salute elon man no he he's not lying sweet baby inc is an evil blight on the gaming industry all they do is make games terrible which is facts and I would like to also add, they are the reason why some gaming companies have shut down. Guys, like, it's because of them. The gaming companies shut down, and then so many devs loses jobs. And I'm pretty sure a lot of the devs that are working on games right now, some of them are not sure whether, like, it's, sustain it's just sustainable or not. Some are probably worried about losing their job. They're probably, like, actively looking at, like, different opportunities. Like, maybe, like, you know you know what I mean, right? Like, because the, the it's not it's not sustainable right now and it's also like a lot of the the devs are probably worried that they're gonna be let go or fired not because they're terrible at the job but because like the the, the higher-ups at their gaming companies are listening to sweet baby Inc. and then ultimately they gotta do what they're told to do and uh, then ultimately the game don't sell well fans don't like it they call gamers toxic uh, and, and then because they didn't make enough money they're like okay we gotta fire that dev this dev that dev perhaps they didn't even had any for example like any input on it right it's crazy it's crazy now of course like i'm not saying like all oh, the devs are uh, not at fault there are probably some devs are at fault as well there are bad apples everywhere but yeah man like they, because of them so many devs have been let go and so many companies have been yeah. shot down very some very good very good thoughts in there lots lots to think about um Belair even Bruh. took a moment to throw a jab at Elon Musk, who she Bruh. labeled herself as noted buffoon. Almost as if she's allowed to call other people names or whatever she wants, but as soon as anyone labels her, it's, oh no, everyone's a racist bigot. Rules for me, not for thee, in full swing with Crazy, all man. of this. This was hard the whole time. Like, not since the beginning, it, it, it wasn't great. But, you know, we received receiving countless emails, all this constant hate. Uh, it was targeted enough to feel disconcerting, even when it was kind of silly. And it was also kind of drowning out the support. But... When Elon chimed in, it really made me realize the scale of it because yeah. the richest man in the world was suddenly turning like the Eye of Sauron onto 16 people trying to make a Eye of Sauron? What the hell? What? Pretty modest living in the industry that they love and he was arguing for our collapse. And this meant that, you know, it was when this happened- He was not arguing for your collapse. He was basically saying that we need to restore faith and peace and also games need to be better and he was also arguing about devs don't deserve to be let go because of your guys incompetency and dev teams don't deserve to like lose jobs or, and studios don't need to shut down because of your guys incompetency happened and, and when it got that that's the translation i'm just translating what like elon musk said right Bruh. there bigger than this you can tell i got it early <laughs> as a screenshot but um yeah it's it made us realize that this was huge. We were being attacked huge. in a massive and coordinated campaign right. of harassment, and that sucks. 
The reality is, companies that continue to work with Sweet Baby Inc. always seem to find themselves mired in failure and financial ruin, on the verge of bankruptcy, or straight up going bankrupt. Their involvement seems to almost guarantee failure. But rather than address the concerns honestly and upfront, Kim Belair continues to weave this tale where Sweet Baby Inc. is the perpetual victim, refusing yeah. to take any responsibility for her team's actions, and instead blaming the entire world for the problems that have been created because of Sweet Baby Inc.'s existence. It's not my fault. I'm just trying to get a BBL appointment. I'm strong. I'm independent. <laughs> hey, a narrative development company. What, what does that mean? I'm really interested. We were instead found by kind of, you know, 4chan and the worst people on Twitter. And looking back, there is a funny element to it where I go like, people were kind of- I, Now I agree, like Twitter sometimes is like a little bit too much though. Okay, on that I agree, but like, what, what? And if you ever thought every modern AAA feels written by exactly the same people, it's because they basically are NeoGAF, October 31st, 2023. Sweet Baby Inc. are basically a branch of BlackRock that consults on ESG and gaming, which is a fact. How is this considered, like, uh, toxic? They're stating a fact. Basically, if you want ESG funding, you need to pass the ESG scores by this company. Fact. It's a fact. No, it's a fact. Kind of talking like, I discovered a secret Canadian company. Like, these are the guys who did it. And the discovery that they had made was actually, like, our public-facing website <laughs> that we advertise our services on and which you can go to right now if you'd like to collaborate with us or just learn more. It's... Services. Services. It's not hidden. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you guys, watching this presentation was stomach turning. It was an exercise in watching someone dodge accountability while also claiming to be targeted unfairly. The sad truth is, this isn't about harassment or hate campaigns at all. This is about the gaming community rightfully calling out an awful yeah. company with awful people occupying it who have failed to deliver on the projects and also act with impunity causing harm to others without any consequences or accountability. The Thanks. gamers are not the problem here, Kim. You are. Customers and gamers are never the problem. A customer and a gamer or a customer has the right to buy a product or not buy the product for whatever thing they like or dislike. You have the right. Money does not grow on trees, okay? Simple as that. that that's absolutely ludicrous. Guys, whatever you do, do not watch this video. Th we had insane clips in this one. Don't don't watch it, man, unless you want to see. Because I, I actually really got pissed off in that situation, okay? Don't watch this video. Check out the video on the left, man. We got some crazy clips in there, and I'll see you right